G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are back to continue our first blind playthrough of Undead Legacy. I'm up and about, rising and shining heckin' bloody early before the sun even gets up over the hill over there. G'day sunshine, how's it bloody going? But I'm coming back, and you guys have to be proud of me. Every single person who yelled at me in the comments over the last couple of days now needs to put a comment down there saying, I'm proud of you, Josh, because I require positive reinforcement for doing the bare minimum at every turn. I've sat here overnight and read through all of... I don't know why they're still lit up. I've read through all of the important introduction things down here. All the stuff that I need to know. I have now gone through and like logged away somewhere in the back of my noggin somewhere. So now I kind of know what I'm up to. And there's things in here that are really important. So like picking up storage. I can pick up cardboard boxes, bring them home and use them for my own storage needs. I can pick up lights instead of beating them to death with a pickaxe. Lots of things that I need to know and should have known but didn't. Now I do. So that's actually looking pretty good for me. Today's goal though is after I go and get myself some storage from somewhere around here. Today's goal goal is to get myself the bricks though these bad boys i need them to research the was the artisan's table i think it was what were you again yeah the artisan's table i need to find the, the clay bricks to research that one and i think i can find them in pallets so either in alpha 19 or alpha 20 uh the new pallet like decorative blocks came out that have like red brick pallets in them not the gray bricks but the red bricks so if i can find some of those that should be where i find clay bricks right if i can't make them i gotta find them i think that's my best shot with all the housekeeping stuff done there is the morning chime so i can start getting cracking on right so first thing i want to do <laughs> i need to empty out all my storage first actually because maybe not those ones was there more like blocks and things down in the bottom of this POI that I'm living in. I think there might have been. If I can find some sort of boxes to move all my shit around with, that would be wonderful. Was there... Oh, here we go. Okay, you're empty. No, it said just to hold E on it. Can I not pick up, like, the boxes? Uh, okay. Is there something else I can try it with then? Here we go. Now, you're all messed up. Let's try this one. You're empty. Pick up the box. Lovely as. And what I really want to know, though, if I then put you down... Yes! It has the option to broadcast the storage for crafting again. All right. Now we're cooking with gasoline. No, I don't want you because you're like half a block in yuck. I want to take the full ones. There we go. Grab you. Oh, we're going to get some storage. I have no idea how much storage I'm actually going to need. I'm just assuming that more is better. So I take everything I can. Go grab that one, please. There we are. It picks it up nice and quickly too, which I'm a big fan of. Was there any others around here somewhere? There was the safe that I still can't get into. I don't have the talent for it yet. Mm, nah. Okay. Oh, no. You're done. You're done. No, I've been through there. Okay, that's fine. I've got a fair whack of storage. Let's go chuck that down, move everything across, and make this house a home. I haven't... There's a whole area of my base that I haven't been to before. I know because there's still a chemistry set in the corner with uh, some nitro powder. But yeah, this is all untouched. All right, well, I'll make like the Veronicas and just ransack everything that I can. I'll take the torch with me this time instead of bearding it to death. Thank you. Anything else for me? No, you've got not much in you. You are locked. Do I not have any bobby pins on me? No, I've left them behind. Okay. Ooh, I'm scared though. Well, oh, actually, this is using like my regular lockpick. Can I use the auto pick function? No, completely broke it. And completely broke it. Okay, auto picking is a bad idea. I may have several thumbs for fingers, but just like slipping them about and trying to get them lock open is better than just snapping them for no reason. I didn't really have a better idea, so I've just stacked all the boxes in the corner. That may not actually be a super smart idea because I do have precious little space in my like actual base area. Maybe I should turn like all of this area out here into my storage place. That's actually not too bad a shout. Give me you real quick though, just so I can shove it all into a box and get it out of my pockets. In you go, including my bloody demon squirrel. Still, still gives me nightmares, that thing. I might actually... Ooh, there's still there's like poles on the side of the wall there too. I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff here. Wait, can I, oh, I should... Can I pick up cupboards? No, I don't think I can. I'm going to uh, get rid of all this stuff here and use this as like the storage area for my storage. So I can keep all the stuff, like all the area inside my base for more useful things. It's got that wireless crafting thing now. I don't need it to be readily accessible. 
finally broke down that block. It took a good long while. That's not too strong. That's strong. All right, I'll get rid of like the little railings here um, and just like put my blocks around this little plate here because I need some better tools to start breaking down that stuff. I thought I heard, I heard a horde, but no, it's fine. Horton didn't hear a peep. Break you. Getting some scrap iron as well is going to come in handy. I have no idea what I'm going to do about like the horde knight. That's not so far away. And building building blocks is actually really difficult. And need lots of nails and things. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's a future Josh problem. Current Josh just wants his bricks. Nice, here we are. And just because I am a little bit pedantic, I'm going to put the blocks, the, like the boxes that have the pallet underneath on the bottom so I can stack the regular boxes on top and it all looks nice and lovely. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. All right, sick as a pineapple. We'll take all of you. Take all of that as well. Not even weighed down by it, which is lovely. And just start chucking everything in. I don't know where things are going to live right now. That is a job for future Josh to figure out. All that goes into them. Was that everything? Oh no, just a just a couple of extras, but that's that's easy done. Okay, nice. Turns out sorting out my storage was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm just thinking actually, so my long pipe is doing what? 17.1. That's with a mod in it, which I'm not sure that actually affects it or not. But my cricket bat is doing 17.2. Why have I been using my cricket bat? Go and wallop some zombies for six or something. When a much better way to do it. Grab you, grab the mod out of that one, and change it over for my trusty bit of willa. Grab you, modify, put that into them. 17 points. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Looks bloody lovely, lovely. I can put you back away, take you with me. You're a little bit messed up, but that's all right. In fact, I do want to go to Trader's today to use his repair bench. He's got like a repair bench at Trader's, so I can maybe repair my cricket bat over there. Oh, actually, wasn't there. Hang on a second. Wasn't there also a thing? I can hear some zombies downstairs, but that's okay. Mechanics. Uh, no. What was it? That's like a maintenance bench here we go i don't actually it's crafted in backpack planks leather and wooden hammer okay there's definitely someone inside my house my bat's about to get a workout yeah i was gonna say i heard your loss i trying to learn about if i make the maintenance bench is that the one that lets me like repair my gubbins before i set out on an adventure what do i need for that? all my crafting is all made to, into wireless so i need maintenance bench you planks a bit of leather and a wooden hammer. Well, I've got the wireless crafting turned off on my toolbox. Hmm, that's full knackers though. I might have to make a second one. Just so I always have a wooden hammer somewhere in my pockets. Okay, I need some leather anyway. Nice. Okay, I'm going to try and get that one. That'll be a job for later, Josh, though, because the time is ticking away. The sun's getting ever higher in the sky and it's making me a little bit anxious about having to do anything at night time. Is this a construction site or a deconstruction site? If I'm looking for those brick pallets, because that is the goal of today, uh, this is kind of the place I want to be hitting up us. Oh, hey, bud. This is the kind of place I want to be hitting up, I suppose. Oh, get absolutely wrecked. The bat is already making its presence known. Grab that out of there. Thank you very much. Construction site box with just some scrap iron, but none of the pallets I was looking for. All right, that's a bit disappointing. Oh, there is one of those yellow torches. I'll take you with me this time instead of breaking you apart. That's much, much quicker. And more to... Oh, wait. Leather chair. Is it better to, like, pick up the leather chair and scrap it to leather or to beat it to death with an axe? Oh, that woke everybody up. I mean, I heard... There you was. I was going to say, I heard you wake up, but I couldn't quite see you again. Either way, though, I only needed, like, the three leathers, I think it was, to make myself the maintenance bench. What was the rest of it? It was the wooden hammer and some planks as well. So really not that much of an ask at all. If I grab you... Nope. Actually grab you. Like that. How much leather do you give me for scrapping your part? Two. What are the chances you give me more than two for using an axe on you? I mean, I'm committed to it now. Still gives me two, but I got some extra scrap iron out of it. Look at that, working at peak efficiency. It was just a working stiffs box up on the roof, and I'll happily grab that and all the gubbins you've got inside you. Oh, look at that, a spare wooden hammer. Don't have to make myself a freshie anymore. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a whole bloody lot. All right, already off to a fly. Let's keep heading over to Trader Potatoes and still want to get like a quest from him, even I'm not going to use his repair bench. Uh, mm, actually, so what do I need now? I only need one more bit of leather 
Oh, there's the 240. God, I'm excited to get in you and go for a bit of a whirl. Oh, if I need leather, damn it. There we go. I think you're made out of leather, aren't you? Do you give me at least one? Yeah, you do. All right, with everything else on hold, we're heading back home. We're going to get ourselves a repair bench. As much as I want to pick up and take this electrical light with me, I can pick it up and move it, but then I can't turn it on like this one. You know, it's already there, but I don't have any power systems to turn it on yet. So just like every other aspect of my life, turning something on is the hard part. Let's go like this and just put you down that way. Oh, here we go. There we are. Turn on. We've now got some light going on in our house. Looking bloody lovely. You, I need to make myself not that many planks. Let's go like five. That should be ten. I think it crafts in doubles. Yes, it does. So I've got that. I've got the leather. I think I have everything else I'm going to need. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I bloody do. Plus, because I've got the, the wireless crafting turned off in my tools box, it's not going to use the one out of the box. It'll use this one, so I'll keep my fresher one for later. That's thinking ahead by accident rather than by plan. I'm actually pretty peckish as well, so we can just shove a bit of pork and eggs down my gullet and make myself feel better about everything that's going on. You are almost done. I've no idea where I'm going to put you. I just have to figure that out when we get to it. There you are. Happy as... Ooh, you're not actually, ooh, you're not actually that big at all. Right, I'll chuck you behind the door for now. Just slot into that little pit there nicely. Okay. Re ooh, repair. Upgrade. Upgrade? Hang on a second. So the first thing I want to do, so you just use broken planks. I have a couple of those already to repair my bats. Oh, that's so good. What about you? Because you're almost broken. Ah, oh, iron plate. I definitely don't have iron plating for me. What about you? That just uses scrap repair, that one as well. So I can just repair everything, almost everything that I need. That's pretty bloody lovely. Repair you too. And while I'm at it, what's it going to take to upgrade my bats? Gubs I already have. We're going to upgrade it to TG. All right, I'm here for it. Can I upgrade with mods installed? Okay, hold your horses. Give me two seconds. I'll be right with you. So currently it's doing 17.2 for a cost of 17. And then if I upgrade you... Only five research started to make you a tier F. How much better are you now? So an extra 0.5 and it cost me an extra stamina. So I made it better, but it's worse to use. Oh, but research data isn't such a premium. Maybe I shouldn't just go using it all willy nilly like that. All right, never mind. I'll chuck you back into there. But while I'm in the mood for upgrades and immediately distracted from my task at hand today, what about my shotgun? So to repair you, you're not really damaged at all right now. But to repair you is just one iron pipe. I can do that. What about upgrading? I can do that too. You're currently doing 77.3 with a magazine size of 3. Do you get like a larger mag? Upgrade that one. What are you doing now? Not... Oh, it's a, holy Jesus. That's gone up a heckin' bloody lot. An extra 20 damage. Yes, bloody please. Magazine size is still the same, but that's all fine for me. Oh, I'm frothing that. I am frothing my new best friend, the, sna uh, the scrap shotgun. I'm so excited about it, I can't even talk about it. The only other thing as well was apparently, according to my journal, mods can be upgraded as well. So if I chuck you into there... No, okay, my station isn't good enough yet. I'll keep that in mind for later on. In fact, now that I have some actual good storage, I can chuck that into there with all the other things I don't need to craft with... Nice. Okay, let's chuck all this shit away again. Knife, we can come back down here. Although you're kind of cooked. Was it in here? It was. Maybe just making a bone shiv is the way to go. Like, a pocket knife is good and all. We'll compare the stats, but I don't want to break and get left high and dry. I can't repair the bloody thing. So you're doing damage 5.8 for a cost of 5. 6.1 for a cost of 6. All right, that one's better again. Just going to upgrade that knife while I'm at it as well because I have a newfound passion of just upgrading everything I come across. I've left it behind. Got to remember to take my shit out of the box after I do the upgrades. Nice. Happy guys. Let's put all the stuff back away and finally get cracking on. I left the house once we this morning and I had a rage and success. Who knows what's waiting for me now? So if I was a pallet of bricks... Oh, there's a chook over there, but I'll let you live for a little longer... If I was a pallet of bricks, where would I go and hang out? I mean, I suppose like working stiff stores are the way to go then, or like the silo barn. That has a lot of pallets inside it. Like it's got a lot of cobble and a lot of cement pallets. But I don't know if it has any brick pallets in there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll find out if I can find any. Oh, there's some red over there. That might be my first stop on my way to tradies. Yes, I know I wanted to do a job for him today, but there's more pressing matters at hand. 
Uh, I'm like, yeah, maybe staying in the middle of town, finding a working stiffs, because they normally have what I'm after. Oh, let's put a new bat to the test. Oi, Jigglypuff, get over here and... D okay, big lags, Pock. I thought I decapitated him, but yeah, no. Worked out almost down like a bleeding sausage roll, but that's okay. Just regular strokes from here on out. I mean, look, it's not one hitting zombies, but it's still doing something. As long as it's nice and strong and bonks them well, I'm happy. Just quickly murder old mate hanging out in the doorway like he's sniffing the breeze. Nice, 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 nice. Is there any pal- Alrighty, Dighty, calm your- I was going to say calm your far, but it's all looking pretty calm out here. I don't see any pallets in here, though. Which is making me a little nervous. I'm not going to find what I'm after. Need you to die. Thank you. Do I have any skill points, by the way, to spend? I do not. That's a shame. Anyone else hanging out in here? Anyone at all? Oh, oh, just you. That's fine. Bozzam. Have a little kip in the hay bales like you're waiting for Arlene to come and say g'day. Okay. Anything up the top? Just some concretes. And some nothing. Damn it! Well, you may not have what I was after with the bloody palace, but I will steal your light and just leave you in darkness. Okay. Oh, oh nope. Just some hay bales just passing through. Alrighty, righty Okay, let's go see Trady then. Like, he might have bricks to sell. I don't really want to spend the money, though, because I'm really bloody poor right now. I don't really have that much funds just to waste on a couple of chunks of boiled clay. Oh, especially not when you're offering me some decent gubs in here, too. I'll take the health bugs. I have none at the moment, and I will inevitably get punched in the face one too many times. I'm gonna need a Snickers to make myself feel better. Here, you, do you have anything to sell me? Got an iron sword? I should probably, get, like, have a look at... Ooh, and a choke mod? That could go on my shotgun. You're worth so much money, though. So I'll just put that thought well out of my head. Um, I just probably look at, like, what's available in clubs and what's in swords. Because I can't want to go into bladed weapons if I can run around with a big old bloody cleaver. What about your secret stash? I f I'm sorry, you fucking what? You've also got bow parts that I can't want to buy. I can't afford those either. You have a fucking Huey? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right. I'm not going to question that well much at all. $57,000 redos for a forget the licks. I'll keep it in mind for later. Um, but you are offering me. Ooh. Okay. Just the job for a simpleton like Okay. I'll raid a cave. This is a pretty interesting one to go to. Plus, it's one that's got the well in it, which I think from memory does have like the bookshelves and stuff down below as well. So that's probably not a bad idea. Um, can get some more schematics, which means more SD cards. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to put two and two together. Starting to put the horse in front of the cart for a change. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, extra damn it. I saw some pallets hanging out in Old Mate's garage. I didn't even call it that over here. And I was like, oh, maybe that's the pallet I need. I'm like, looking for anything that's got some materials on it. So I'm getting a little bit desperate. Sit up, cop that, and sit your friend down right on top of you. Look at that. Let's have a little cuddle in the afterlife. I'm nothing if not a zombified matchmaker. If I pick up these wheels, car tire pile. Is there a way? You know how it, like in vanilla you can click on something and like sh say to show me the recipes that it needs? But I don't know if that... I mean, it's car tires. So maybe it goes in like a repair kit. Car. Car wheels. Not even a car body wheels needs tires apparently, which is pretty interesting. Doesn't go into any of that. So it doesn't really go into anything? It might come in handy for later, though. So I'll just keep it with me for now. Actually, what do you scrap into? Just let, uh, just rubber, rather. Okay, well, if I need rubber, I know where to get it. There's a... There's a working stiffs. There's a working stiffs right there. All right, fuck the cave. This is what I was after all along. This is where all the pallets are going to be. Oh, it's, it's like another 240. Oh, there's a deer. There's a deer. Hold on. All right. There. Oh, right through the ear canal. That's a nice clean kill. It's like a Golf Oil livery 240. It's like a 240 dressed up as a bloody Ford GT40. I like it. I can't repair it though, so I can't make this one mine. Plus, I've already like uh, committed and promised my heart to the other one down the road. It's a cool looking car though. 
I haven't searched this green SUV yet, but I am now. Just a couple of spud seeds. That's all fine. Oh, and a repairable bicycle. I assume I'm probably going to be able to make it like the bicycle repair kit well before I can make the car repair kit. So you're dead. I'm going to quickly mark this one. This one here. Save as a bike. There we are. Just so I know where it is. Stripper said this is coming over for a ride. I'm not sure if it's me or the broken bike, but neither is about as useful as the other. Hate to disappoint your love, but you're in for a bad time. The zombies have spawned in, but I can see all the pallets out in the storage area out here. Quickly have a little squeeze at you. Couple of hinges. All right, well, I've got a fair whack of arrows, so make short work of you. Got Ooh, there's another, another zombie down the end over there. But there's a couple of zombies down the end over there. Oh, damn it. Those are the gray pallets. Those ones that have stone in them, not the red brick ones. But okay, still going to raid the place anyway, see what I can find. Because you've got this stuff on the outside. Surely you got some good gubs on the inside. There's nothing really out the front, just some more cement. I mean, if I need cement for building something later on, I know where to come to. But it's not really really what I'm after right now. It's kind of just a monster having a trundle. I'll leave you alone. Oh, no. This is the bad working system. This is the one that's got like, the whole like steel fort built inside it. Okay, this might be slightly more of a challenge that I can really shit that I can really handle right now, as you can probably bloody tell. All right, cricket bat, time to put your money where your bat is. Oh god, I hate spiders so much. It's so hard to hit at the best of times. Even in bloody Walking Dead, when I had headshot damage, like a way more effective than it is right now, they were still bloody hard to kill. No, no, no. You know what? Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not in the mood for your shenanigans. Get out of here. Piss off. Go and hang out in someone else's corner. I can hear someone moving about, but I don't know exactly where they are. So I'm just going to... Oh, there he is. Just... There you are. All right. He's standing in line for the loo. So I'll just leave him to his own devices. I hope he doesn't come and shit on me instead. Nothing else here. Um, very few pallets in this place. Ooh. No, that's not what I wanted. Those are like... Oh, actually... Hey, there's a Bernie boy right there. Quickly just kill you. Those look like pallets made out of planks. And if everything else in this game is useful, does that mean I can get like the, the, the planks of the crafting metal logs back at home? I can just break down these and get what I need out of that. Bernie boy's coming to say good day. Good day, Bernie boy. Oh, he just wore that in the chin and bloody asked for some more. Apparently, I busted out the paddle of Bernie Boy Duggets. All right. Ooh, Bonza, mate. Level up as well. Catch you later. Blew his bottle of my paddle as he wanted me to. All right. Ooh. I'm... You always got to max out Sex Rex. I don't care what version of Seven Days you're playing. Stamina regen is always king. You can't go without. I got to know. I got to know if this... It does. Gives me wooden planks. Okay. So... I, I've been warned that Undead Legacy is super bloody grindy for like resources and stuff like that. But I suppose if you were just like carrying on like normal and as you get better tools, because you can find resources and pallets like this and whatnot, does that mean that like, you know, if I could run in here, one shot all these things and carry on my merry way, I could get bulk resources really quickly without too much effort on my part. I'm lazy as shit, so I'm always open to that idea. Just some cheeky boxes there. In fact... You are a cheeky box that has the pallet underneath, so you'd be lovely to decorate my home with. I'll take you with me. That was a bit of a lag spike, but it's fine. I'm just here for the planks. Everyone else is just going to have to wait. Couple of larrikins is making their way down to say good day. Well, while you do that, I'm going to quickly just nick... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to nick the light out of your life, but you were like... <laughs> no, nah, mate. Oh, I love a one-shot decap. It just gives me the fizz in the best way possible. Easy. Now I have max level sex rex as well. I get my stamina back for my shameless murder. Oh, I see you. I see you. I also see the foot of your friend, so... Why didn't you die? That was a shot right through the chin. There we go. You died the second time around, though. Uh, that's made me very anxious all of a sudden. There we go. Nice and clean kill there. I don't know. When I hit someone in the head with a nice clean bow shot like that, they don't die immediately. My first thought is it's a feral. And I'm not ready to fight ferals. Found a skull cap with some purple dye. Modify you and I'll take you out of there. Thank you very much. I'm wearing just a paddle hood at the moment. That's all good. What can hold? Actually, can I paint you? I can't. I can't rattle care me bat purple. 
heckin' rude. What about you? No, can't do that one either. What about you? There we go. We're gonna have a purple pistol, I suppose. How do you look? Are you good purple or... Mm, nah. Mm, nah. Nah. Not a good purple on the gun. It looks great on the cars outside, but in my hand, how little pea shooter, not so much. That is upsetting. Grab that lantern as well while I'm here. So now I've got two lanterns I can use and a torch. Football. What am I wearing? So that's another light armor. So it's better than my padded helmet. Like, it has to be. It's got so much more protection. It'd be silly not to use that. So I'll modify you. I will grab that one back. Like, yes, it's going to harm my cells a little bit, but I'd rather be able to get punched in the face more than never have them wake up anyway. Because half of these POIs have insta wake up spots regardless of what you do. No one hanging out in there. Always check the garbage, though, for iron knuckles oh it's a double schematic though so okay we'll read one scrap the other get the sd cards out of them nice got bulk storage oh how are you doing hot stuff i was gonna say i'm sure there would be something sneaky deaky hanging out in the zombie closet up the top but it does also sound quite like there's a wandering horde outside which is filling me with dread but hey if i can find what i need in this working stiss crate right now i'll be very appreciative open you have a little gander there you are. Stone axe. Ooh, I can scrap both of you. You're worth a bit, but I'd rather have the SD cards. Scrap both of them. Should give me a, f a big chunk of honey. Please. Yeah, there we go. Big chunk of honey there. And I will actually need that. So I'll read you. Stone axe, come with me. All right. We're looking good. We're looking fine. I'm worried about the horde outside. I'm going to keep on pushing on. Yeah, so there's a few out here. Oh, there's a few in here as well. All right, but here we go. Uh <laughs> Arlene, you never really know for your good uh, footwork, were you? Um, leg work, maybe, but not footwork. Let's move way around. As long as I can sit him down. Oh, I'm pretty much right to go. Missed you. Nice, Garim. Like, if you guys want to, like, pop over the little pocket so I can murder you through the fence, that would be wonderful. I can't really do much right now. Not until you guys do some hard jacket too. There we go. Bloody Toby Maguire's out here getting the job done for me. Opening up for his friend as well. What a good lad Toby Maguire is. Bloody Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield out here holding hands together and making the world a better place. I can't... I can't hit you when you're there, though. Mm, and what's more annoying, I can't just build myself a frame to get a window... All right, well, oh, there you are. Nice. Okay, I can finish off these guys with relative safety. It's getting pretty late in the day, though. We might be heading home sometime soon. Clubs are going up. Zombies are going down. It's all looking sunshine and rainbows right now, which means bad things are coming. I know that these smaller boxes have the same usable storage space in them as, like, the full quaddy boxes, but I just don't like the aesthetic. I don't want to stack all those things up in my nice, clean, lovely house, and I'm putting in probably more effort than I should to try and get it to look nice when I go home again. Um, I suppose I should probably break down some of this cement stuff. Do you really need cement right now, though? And what's really frustrating is that now, like, I can break you down. That's all well and good. But this used to give me cobblestone. It was so bloody valuable. Now it's just clay. Actually. Okay, so if that's different now, who's to say that this isn't different now? Oh, my God, they're clay bricks. They're not stone, they're clay bricks. How many of these pallets have I walked by in the, the first couple of days of this series? Because these are like generic pallets. They're everywhere. Mm, like a Michelle freaking branch song. They're everywhere to me. But when I close my eyes, they are all that I freaking see. I could have had so many bricks already. Ah, oh, damn it. So everything's different now. Well, I suppose the good news is that, I mean, I, once I actually needed the bricks, I didn't pass up the opportunity when they showed themselves to me again. So good job, me, for a change. But it also means that this mission has been a success. So I have the bricks that I need to research the artisan table. Anyone taking a poop? Nope, no one in there. No one in there. And oh, what the fuck? No. Oh, that's extra what the fuck. Oh, please, no. Why was my shotgun not loaded? A bloody copper? Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Not having your shenanigans today. Get that one out. Nice and quick. At least got the loot out of him. You can't just plop a copper on me. That's heckin' rude. I can't even loot his shit because he's bloody cuddling up over the waypoint. Is there like a little... Can I look between your legs and get the goods? Yeah, there we go. All right, grab you. 10 millimeter rounds. Some more 9 millimeter rounds. Actually, it's pretty good. I'm running out of those. And a hazmat mask. Now, I assume that you actually do something for me now, as opposed to in vanilla. Um, all right. 
Turns out this place is heck and bloody scary. That's not even like the loot room yet either. Oh, which actually I think is down here. Like down there is where all the loot is. You can see the block over there. Mmm, that makes me nervous. I think things are about to go really sideways really quickly. Ooh, some iron plating though. I just want to, I just want to get up. I want to get up and out. It's going to take me a fair while to uh, beat my way through this ramp, which is unfortunate. But I want to go check up on the roof before I go and throw myself at the wall of zombies and hope that I stick to something good. Like, why is this so, aren't these things normally weak? But I don't know. Either way, it's almost done. We can get up and have a bit of squeeze around. There's not really anything up on the roof at all. Just a backpack over there. So, all right, I'll go and grab that one and see what you got for me. Anything fun and shiny? Some boots. What am I wearing at the moment? I'm wearing padded boots. I mean, protecting my toes this seems like a pretty good shout. Ooh, wait, that... Oh, those icons tell me my shit's damaged. Oh, I should have repaired that before I left then. Okay, I'll keep my padded boots on then because they're not damaged yet. And actually, you can just get scrapped for... 20 iron or 77 dollars so i'll scrap it for the iron okay it's almost <laughs> there's another one they're everywhere out of here it's like a dream come true it's almost night so i just want to get through here nice and quick um what are we dealing with what are we dealing with though that's a corpse not a zombie <gasps> there is the bread brick pallets here i told you that's what i came here looking for but turns out we found what i was after anyway there's a zombie Although there's a lot around. So maybe, okay, hold on. I was gonna say, maybe I can just like wake everybody up. He's almost dead. Cookie murder his friend as well then. Just pick my way through. Nope, missed it. Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. Wake everybody up. Oh, that's a doggo. Oh, that was a bad decision. Wake everybody up so they can, oh, so they can come to me out the front. Okay, this was not especially clever. That was not clever at all. But if they all come for me, then I can kind of have my way with them up out the front and have less problems in the long run. Did that dog make it all the way through? Yeah, he did. Oh, thank God I, I beat my way up onto the roof then. They can all come up to here instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't especially clever. It's the doggo I'm worried about though. Get the doggo up here so I can kill him. Then everyone else can follow suit afterwards. There we go. Doggo's got out in front of all of his friends. Have you just forgotten where I am? Can I go like this? Oh, wait. Oh, for goodness sake. Hold on. No, damn it, doggo. Oh, oh he's, he didn't even go all the way down either. Okay. That is a significant problem. Shit. Shit. Fuck balls. Oh, oh my God. We got there. Right, now we've done that, I can kill the rest of them as they make their way up here. I can't believe that dog had the perfect moving cover, and then I accidentally fired the arrow I didn't mean to, and woke him back up again. That was a comedy of errors. That's <laughs> honestly comedy in this video, actually. <laughs> so, shouldn't complain too much. Look at the bat go, though. Bat's doing heavy lifting. Bonza, mate, level up. Got a skill point to spend. And just a crawly boy to finish off as well. Bloody hate the crawly boys. I have bloody go go gadget extendo arms at the worst possible time. So does that mean that everyone in here is now dispatched? Yeah, I mean, listen, it wasn't a great idea to charge you to wake everybody up, but I definitely didn't want to fight them all in here. Getting them up onto the roof actually turned out really well in the end. Some nuts and bolts and headlights, and I'll actually take you home with me. If I can get all of like the base parts done, then I can fill it up with the rest of them. Take you, take that as well. I'm gonna spend half my life looting shit because everything has gubs now. I just realized I am, what, 10 grams away or 100 grams away from being cucumbered. Uh, gonna take the hinges and stuff. That's actually the regular boxes go on top of the pallety ones. So what happens when I get cucumbered then? How bad actually is it for me? I can still move relatively well. So it's just like, what, the more kilos I carry, the slower I'm gonna go eventually? Okay, that's not too bad, I suppose. There's probably a lot of stuff inside me that I can just kind of get rid of because I'm carrying a lot of random girls. But all I've been told about this is to never throw away anything. So I'm kind of living by that at the moment. Plus the heavy stuff like the bricks is what I'm actually here for. Speaking of bricks, do you... Was I right? I was. You do actually give me the bricks, but I wasn't expecting the great ones to do it as well. So alrighty righty Take you. Take that. Let's get the loot and go home. Oh, interesting. So using my stone axe on these pallets doesn't actually give me anything. It gives me scrap wood, so I need the carpenter's axe to actually make use of that. My carpenter's axe is knackered, so that's not going to work out for me anyway, but I can probably just scrap you because I'm knackered with that. For you up no space, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm just going to have to carry everything home with me, aren't I? I'm just going to have to carry everything home with me. Oh, and I... <laughs> 
Do I have a repair kit on me at all? I don't think I do. So I came all this way and I can't even beat my way into this. What about the shovel? Is the shovel going to do it? Kind of. Not really. That wasn't amazingly clever by me. That was that was poor. Took a while, but I did manage to get in there eventually. Pop your open. Give me an axe, please. Some wooden planks. And why are you saying treasure volume 6? Crafting cloth grows 20% less cotton. Oh, and a repair kit. I'll hold on to that for now. I'm not sure I want to use it right away. In case things get really bad later, I'll use it. Because it is about to get night time. So real quick, kill the Muppets down here. Like that. Was there anyone else hanging out down there? Check for any feats in the corners. Nope, that's half of a corpse. No one on that side either. And... Mm, ah, okay. Are we okay? Are we... Oh, oh we're less okay. Oh, come on. That should have been a kill. That should have been a kill. You stitched me up. I'll kneecap you. You had a bee stick of health left over because I hit you in the noggin. Gotta die the first time, though. Like that. The night time has ended, but I think that's all the zombies... So, not, the night time has started. But I think that's all the zombies sorted out here. Like, that's the main fight, isn't it? I've got my shotgun out just in case because I... Something feels off here. Mm, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Chrissy, Chrissy fucking wake up. That's a feral two. Ow, oh, god damn it, you kebab vomiting bitch. Get over here. One, two, and didn't kill him. Ow, oh, god, he might kill me though. Holy shit, he hit like a fucking Mack truck. That. Oh, Josh, it's night time and you went right a tatter. That was poor. That was poor. I'm in some trouble. Yep, everyone's coming for me. Everyone's bloody coming for me and I'm too fucking fat to run away. Oh, I have regrets. I have many regrets, but I also have shotgun ammo. So maybe the zombies can regret it for me. All right, listen, I don't have that much shotgun ammo. You guys got to relax a little bit. That's a feral over there. Hold on. Just wait for it. Right in the chin. I got one more round for you. Nice, I came with the XP, so he's definitely dead. But if I want to come out to the grill over here and just gobble up shotgun rounds, that is A-OK -okay with me. Definitely dead. They're also coming through the walls, which is bloody terrifying. Who else? Who else? This is why I wanted to save that repair kit, though, just because I need to repair my shotgun halfway through. Yeah, they're over here somewhere. Quickly open up this, grab that, open up this one, and just a flannel shirt. Now is not the time for a flanny. I know every time's the time for a flanny. But if I chuck it on, I might die in it. I've only got four rounds of shotgun left, which is <laughs> pretty bad news bears for me. You all need to die. Can I, like... In fact, if you guys want to, like, open up a little window here, that would be wonderful. No, nope, that's all strong. That's all strong. This one. Oi, come over here and open this for me. Oh, it's gonna take forever though. Can I just like... You don't have that much health left, do ya? Oh, but here comes the rest of them too. Mm. <laughs> Guys, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm in a little bit of fucking trouble! That's so much noise out there. That's so much noise out there. I, oh, do I open the thing or do I just go? I don't, I'm leaving all the stuff behind though. Oh, it's like a proper... Hang on, can I... No, I can't even... I can't even pick the juicy stuff. Okay. I'm going to mark this. I'm going to go safe 100 and the rest of the gummies are going to have to come back for another day because whatever is out there right now, I do not want to fight. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm gone. I'm just getting the fuck out of Dodge. Hopefully, I can kind of shake it by heading up to the roof and leaving out the other end. Oh, that was a bad time. Close the door. Just get up here. It's so late at night. Why did I push my luck? Why did I push my luck? I got the bricks I needed. Now I'm way down like you wouldn't believe and trying to run away from a hungry horde. This is this was bad, Josh. This was bang fucking average. I think I actually managed to get away from it from the most part. Just drop out the other side and keep on trucking. Because I was causing such a ruckus in that little... Oh, there's one over there. In that storage room, all the zombies within the east tried to run over there to see who was like just battering away with a shotgun. Speaking of which, I have no more shotgun ammo. I used all of it through that window. I thought I could fight my way out. Turns out, nah, I can't. Oh, and there's so many zombies with me at home as well. Just get your sneaky boy on. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I'm way down. This is not a good recipe. Oh, please, give us a rest, would ya? I've managed to slink all my way back home through thick and thin, made like a slug, and just dragged me ass along the deck and got all the way back home, and there's a bloody wolfy boy hanging out at my doorstep. You can't just give me a spell at all, can ya? Uh, I'm not really sure what to do about that. 
Mm, do I? Oh, no, he's, he's going away from me. Okay. I can hear some puppets getting tangled up on the barbed wire in the farm. That's fine. Oh, I've got to do something about this. Sort of. I've got to do something about this. Right there. Oh, shit. Didn't kill him. And he's not... Fuck. He's not that hurt. Did you just forget where I was? There we go. Now you're very much hurt. One more. One more. This wasn't quite how I envisioned this going, but you know what? If it works, it fucking works. Nice. Yes, I'm already cucumber, but I'm not going to turn down free steak. Harvest you up. Animal harvesting getting better as well. I can now butcher what you want me to. Okay. I am very way down. There's still lots of feral zombies out and about around here. Just please be no one in like the ground floor of my house. That would be really bad. Oh, I saw a glimpse. I saw a glimpse. Oh, I'm so close. I'm going to hear foot... Oh, fuck. I can hear footsteps right next to me. Up. Up. I can't up. I can't up. Um. Um. Listen. Listen. You. Chuck you there. Chuck whatever you can in. That'll do. Up. There we go. Holy shit. Holy shit. I didn't know I could... I mean, it makes sense. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that was so bloody close. It makes sense. If I wait down a bunch of course, I can't bloody jump that high. So I didn't put my bricks away, so that's fine. I'm just gonna... Oh, there's a feral scomo down there as well. Just stay nice and sneaky deaky quiet. Do you want to go around that way because I got too close to the feral scozza? Go around here. This is the most terrified I've been in seven days to die in a fucking long time. Because if they find me, I die. I don't have the ability to fight them off right now. Oh, they're inside my house. They're inside my house. Oh, I'm so scared. I just got to like close the door. Wait till I'm as sneaky as possible. Close. Nice. And just wander back into the darkest corner over here. And just pray that no one makes it upstairs. I'm going to go up a ladder and then up a stairwell as well to get to me. I need to figure out some sort of like barricade or something around there to stop having any chance of getting up to here. Because man, they could just wander up and beat down that door. And then I would be as banana as a split. Oh my god, it's 1.30. I can't do crafting. I can't do craft. I want to make, make myself the artisan table. I want to be able to do all the things I need to do, but I can't do that with feral scomos and nances wandering about six inches away from the bottom of my feet. I'm telling you, if there's a retirement place with six inches, this isn't one of them. This case, as long as that, as well as all my other cases, that's just not that big. So, mm, I'm, I'm nervous and I'm scared. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit here. It's now drizzling outside. So I'm going to just like look at the raindrops coming out from heaven and pretend like I'm as pure as that. As the fog rolls in, it makes it even more ominous. I just have to sit here and wait until morning. Most of the bad stuff will die off when the sun rises. So then I can set about making my artisan table, making my furnace, and finally, finally getting myself up and going with some proper working stations. Oh, man. That was a massive day. I very nearly died several times. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ambition. But I still have all my organs. So I'm going to have to come back and continue my frightful adventure into Undead Legacy in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.